Let's try question number 21. Now you could try to expand this out by feeding the dog, cat, and bird. Or you can even try to clean this up right away on the inside. This is square root of 4 means 2. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So we'll try the second way. So this question is equivalent to 2 root 2 bracket 3 minus 3 root 2. Now we only need to feed the dog and the cat. So the answer is 2 root 2 times 3 is 6 root 2 and 2 root 2 times a negative number is negative. 2 times 3 is 6. Root 2 times root 2 is simply 2. Let's try question number 22. First, let's do it the slow FOIL way. The exponent 2 means you write it out twice. First, 2 times 2 is 4. Outside, 2 times negative root 2 is negative 2 root 2. Inside, we have negative 2 root 2 again. And last, negative times negative is positive. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. So as you can see, the final answer is 4 plus 2 is 6. And we're subtracting twice. So negative 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 becomes negative 4 root 2. Let's try the second question again, slightly faster. <clears throat> when you have 2 minus root 2 squared, this is something squared, a binomial squared. You simply multiply 2 times 2 is 4. That's your first. Mentally multiply these, the a and the b value. 2 times negative root 2 is negative 2 root 2. Then double it in your head. Instead of negative 2 root 2, you know it's going to be negative 4 root 2. So we doubled it in our head, and we got the answer right. Finally, you square out the last term. Negative times negative is positive. Root 2 times root 2 is just 2. So as you can see, 4 plus 2 is 6. Minus 4 root 2 is the same answer. You can try to write out the answer in your head. Let's try question 23. We're going to try to do this medium fast using difference of squares. So as a friendly reminder, if you have a squared minus b squared, if you factor this, this is the same thing as a plus b, a minus b. So in the same way you can factor, you can also go backwards into this form here. So we recognize that this here is difference of squares. So when you expand it out, root 3 times root 3 is simply 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. And then we have a minus b and a plus b. Root 2 times root 2, you write minus 2. Because our b value is 2, b squared is going to be 2. So the final answer is 1. If you couldn't quite follow this, try to just expand it out very carefully. This would be just a slower way. If you don't recognize it as difference of squares, just try first outside, inside, last. It's going to take more, longer, but you're going to arrive at the same answer. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. If you do outside, it's going to be plus root 6. Inside, so we'll cancel out, minus root 6. And last will be minus 2. So 3 minus 2 is just 1, and the insides cancel. Same answer. All right, last question. Let's try to clean this part up first. Let's leave the 3 alone and save it for the end. So this is 3 times is something. Let's do FOIL first. Root 8 times 1 is root 8. And you could write root 8, or you can even write 2 root 2, because you know that sometimes mixed radicals rather than entire radicals are preferable. Let's try outside. So root 8 times negative root 8 is going to be negative 8. Let's try inside. Anything times 1 is itself, which is negative root 2. And last. 
negative root 2 times a negative number is positive. 2 times 8 is 16, so we have root 16, or you could simply write 4. So we can clean this up a little bit. We have the number negative 8 and 4, which becomes simply negative 4. And we have 2 root 2 minus 1 root 2, or just root 2, is going to be root 2. And we can finish off by feeding the dog and the cat. And so we have 3 root 2 minus 12. All right. And now it's your turn. Pause the video. Good luck.